Track Views is James Calm, your half-assed reporter, the guy on the bike. And it's a Thursday night here in Chelsea. We're gonna drop in here at the Gladstone Gallery and take a look at what I thought was a kind of an interesting exhibition titled Abstract, Representational, and So Forth featuring all these wonderful artists. Well, the reason I thought this was a calm-worthy show, or at least interesting, was that uh, this is all ceramic. And uh, Strangely, I uh, was looking at a lot of this and thinking how much this relates to a lot of contemporary painting concerns. Gosh, there's uh, one of the artists, Mary Heilman. Okay, we'll go back and look at some of these pieces in... Uh, greater depth. Well, this is the first piece that's listed on the guide, and this is by Mary Heilman. It's called Yellow Spot Number no. 1, 2007, Glaze Ceramic. Uh, I was saying I was uh, kind of interested in the idea of ceramics and how Especially a lot of the the glazing relates to a lot of contemporary painting concerns. This is by Lena Henka, titled Double Ganger. And I think some of these are glazes and some of them are actually this paint, this is type called Forton and Pigment. 10 parts, 22 by 16 by 7. Also, I've got to run because I noticed I've got 15 minutes before closing time. This is Rosemary Trockel, Dutch fairy tale, ceramic and glaze. dabbled a little bit in ceramics when I was a student and I was fascinated with the glazes but I realized that uh, that whole art form is a very involved and very time-consuming uh, commitment I just love that blue glaze though Magdalena Suarez Frimkus, Desert Tile Painting 2002, Stoneware and Glaze. I think it's also a lot of fun that uh, this is one of the first group shows of the summer and uh, they're kind of taking a little bit of a risk by changing over from your standard maybe painting or sculpture show and doing a doing a ceramic show this is Mary Heilman and it's titled Curl 1984 as I was saying, I think that uh, this whole kind of uh, interest in ceramics and I guess what might be called a more of a uh, craftsy end of the art thing. 
also says something about what people are looking at, thinking about, re-examining as a uh, new area to explore. and pure gold. I thought this was nice. Uh, not only is his form kind of comical and surreal, but uh, some of these surfaces are really beautiful. This uh, light blue is gorgeous. I think uh, Luigi Antani was one of the Italian trans avant-garde artists that got a lot of attention in the late 70s, early 80s. Andrew Lord. Circle of Swallows 2019. Dimensions variable. This is nice, I like the, uh, the contrasts of the ceramic glazed surfaces on these flat walls. Also, I uh, love to see the uh, hand of the artist. striations of the fingers in there. This is Liz Larner. Califaction 2014-2015 ceramic glaze stones and minerals. Looking at this and thinking this looks like uh, some of the uh, cement curbs I drive my bike over out in Brooklyn. This is a grouping of works by Alarance Gumby. This one is really like a, uh, a little index of various glazing colors, techniques, layerings of uh, various things. I actually thought this was one of the nicer pieces. I like the uh, it's like a translucent, milky gray glaze over the, the under layers. This is by Sarah Croner, Wavy Arrow Terracotta 2019, Glazed Terracotta Tiles and Grout. I like the, uh, kind of the subtle colors and uh, actually run it right up here to the edge. Of course, you're going to look at something like this and always think of uh, maybe some of the ancient Syrian or Babylonian ceramic uh, wall 
structures. Let's wrap this up. Well, I saw this piece and I immediately recognized it as Betty Woodman. I've been watching, I think Betty passed away a couple of years ago, but I've been watching her career for about 30 some odd years and uh, I think in certain ways she really is one of the pioneers of uh, ceramic and especially the, uh, the glazing end of things and I think that she's right up there with uh, Peter Volkus and some of the West Coast uh, ceramic artists as far as her influence goes. Uh oh, I think they're starting to turn out the lights. It's a group of masks by Cameron Jamie. Actually, some of these are kind of creepy. Uh, I love the the glazes. There's so many wonderful uh, kind of semi-metallic, translucent, pearlescent things happening. This one is MSK3 Red Betty. one, Rihanna. Yeah, I was thinking that uh, you could make a lot of analogies between various things people are doing in the ceramics. Uh, the places that are, the areas that are glazed are like the painted part of a canvas. Part of this where they're uh, leaving things unglazed would be like leaving raw linen in your painting. This was kind of nice, it's more understated. It's titled MSK2, All I See Is You, 2019 glazed ceramic, 11 by nine by six inches. Uh, <laughs> it would be fun to go to a party and see people wearing these. And our final piece for this stroll is by Nick Mouse, Untitled 2017, Glazed Ceramic. Well, I looked at this and kind of thought about uh, early David Solly paintings. So we've got... Uh, Nice kind of lozenge shape with wonderful uh, aqua blue and uh, whether that's a delf blue in our little figure developments. This is 18 and a quarter by 38 and a quarter. Abstract, representational, and so forth. Here at the Gladstone Gallery, West 24th Street. You can like this, share, subscribe, recommend it to your friends, or not. And you can leave your thoughts, ideas, comments, criticisms, and reviews below. We do ask you to say, Thank you, Kate.
Thanks, Trinidad Laura. Thank you. Thank you.